Hey guys, so as I'm sure many of you have already heard, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is officially upon us once again, and I thought I would do a little spin on a 21 Days of Beauty video and window shop the sale with you guys here on camera. I'm gonna like share my screen and we'll kind of go through, see what catches my eye, and then we're gonna use what I already have in my collection instead and see if I don't already have products that kind of scratch the same itch as the products that are tempting me in the sale. It's such a silly expression. That's why I'm barefaced today because after we window shop, we're gonna kind of dig through my collection and see what I can find and hopefully avoid shopping in the sale. So if you're not familiar with the 21 Days of Beauty sale and how it works, it is a 21 day long sale. This time around, it goes from August 28th through September 17th. And each day of the sale, different items are on sale for half off. And it's pretty much all high-end products because um, those are the products where you're going to get the biggest savings with half off. So I have already glanced through the sale. I will say, luckily for me, I don't feel that tempted by very many things. I don't feel like the sale is that great this time around, which it's actually, I feel like that's usually how I feel about the 21 Days of Beauty sale. Like, I'm always like, oh that's it? Like, that's what all the fuss is about? Like, I just, there's not a whole lot of things that are calling out to me, but there are a few things. I do think the 21 Days of Beauty sale can be a good time to stock up on things that maybe you were already planning on purchasing anyway. Maybe if there's a high-end item that's been on your wish list for a long time and it goes on sale, it would be a good time to pick it up. I do think you need to be careful, though, with the 21 Days of Beauty sale because the thing is, it goes on every day, so it encourages you to go on the Ulta site every day pretty much and see what's on sale for that day and I can see how that could become a very slippery slope if you're prone to impulse shopping. But if you're placing your orders online and let's say you wanted to shop multiple days during the sale and you're not a diamond or platinum member, meaning that you haven't spent a certain amount of money at Ulta that year to get free shipping, you might then feel tempted to fill up your cart so that you reach that $35 free shipping minimum, which might lead you to purchase things that you didn't even want to begin with. So just something to keep in mind. I definitely encourage everyone to shop the sale as mindfully as possible. Or if you know you don't want to buy anything, just delete the Ulta app, you know, maybe stay off of social media as much as you can for this sale period so that you don't feel tempted to make an order that you didn't otherwise really want to make. Or you can join me in doing what I'm doing, window shopping the sale, and then encouraging yourself to use what you have instead. So. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you and let's take a look at what items are on sale this time around. Okay, so here we are on the sale page. Today, the day I'm filming this, is Monday, August 29th. So today's beauty steals. This top section is for diamond and platinum only, which I am not. But we have some Benefit mascaras. Benefit's unfortunately not cruelty free, so I wouldn't be interested in that anyway. The, it looks like some It Cosmetics skincare and Kiehl's skincare. Honestly, skincare in general, I'm not interested in right now just because I have everything I need skincare-wise. I also keep a very minimal skincare routine anyway because that's just what my skin prefers. So really not looking at any skincare, not going to be tempted by any of that. Then we have the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Again, I'm not part of that deal, so it doesn't matter anyway. Looks like the only things I would be able to get here for today are the Elemis Facial Resurfacing Pads, which I'm not interested in, and the Nude Sticks. Sticks? Once again, not interested. <laughs> okay, moving on. Tuesday, August 30th, we have the ABH Luminous Foundation. I know I've heard really good things about this. So it looks like this is a medium coverage luminous foundation. I know a lot of people love this foundation. I'm kind of taking a break from ABH right now. Also, I already have some really nice medium coverage luminous foundations. Being that that is already what I like in a foundation, I naturally already have a couple of those. So I do have my Urban Decay Hydromaniac foundation, which is a fantastic dewy light to medium coverage foundation, so maybe that's what we'll use today. A Tula Blackhead Scrub and a First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser, and then 50% off black-owned brands. So it looks like this is mostly Juvia's Place. We have a Key Soul, Hair, Soul Care Body Oil, and the Oma Beauty Trip and Smooth Powder. So this looks like a super fine weightless smooth powder, soft focus matte finish, this sounds lovely. I'm, I would love to try this at some point, but I also just, I feel like I really only need to have a few powders at a time. And my favorite loose powder right now is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which I feel like is kind of everything I'm already looking for in a loose powder. 
So already having this e.l.f. powder is my reason to not purchase any other loose powders right now. Moving on to August 31st, we have Too Faced brow products. I feel like I've never heard anyone talk about Too Faced brow products. I honestly didn't even know. I mean, I would have figured they make brow products, but I had no idea that they did. Like, I, I don't think I've ever heard anyone talking about these, so not really tempted by those. I already am set in the brow category. Really just been loving a brow marker like the Urban Decay Brow Blade or the NYX Lipton Snatch recently, so I really am not tempted at all. The Smashbox and Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and Highlighters are both on sale, so these used to be under Becca before they went out of business. I actually used to have the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and I decluttered it in my like pre-move declutter, so no reason for me to purchase that. Um, I just don't really use color correctors. Like, if my concealer doesn't cover my under eyes, then oh well. <laughs> but I actually do already have the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. I love this. Also, I already have a good handful of highlighters that I like, so I just don't feel like I need any more. One that I have also that's pretty similar, to, in my opinion, to the Becca formula is the Pixi Glowy Gossamer Duo. So if you have this, maybe consider trying that out instead if you don't want to buy the Becca one. Yeah, so depending on where the look goes today, I'll probably use one of those. Wait, I kind of want to know what shades they do have of the Becca highlighter. I thought they only had one. Oh, that's funny. I thought it, they only offered like one or two shades of this, but they have quite a few. Um, basically all the kind of, pretty much all of the more popular ones, Champagne Pop, Opal, Moonstone, Rose Quartz, and Chocolate Geode. Cool. Actually, I did used to have rose quartz and decluttered it. Do I regret that declutter? Maybe a tiny bit, <laughs> but not enough to buy it again. So here are those false lashes that they have on sale. Yeah, I don't really use false lashes, so not really tempted by those. And I actually do have a few Ardell false lashes in my drawer right now, so if I ever do want to use falsies, I have those. All right, let's look at Thursday, September 2nd. We have the Ferreo facial cleansing devices. I, I just use my hands to wash my face. I don't need a device. Um, these Strivectin serums. I'm not sure if Strivectin is cruelty-free. Also, just not really looking to buy any skincare right now. Beekman 1802 Bloom Cream Daily Probiotic Moisturizer. Clinique Concealer uh, is not cruelty-free, so don't have to worry about that. That's one of the nice things about being cruelty-free is there's just fewer options out there to tempt you. <laughs> So that's kind of nice. Um, and then the 50% off Crepe Erase Ultra Body Smoothing Trio. I have never even heard of that. All right, September 2nd, Friday, September 2nd, we have a surprise beauty steal from Buxom to be revealed on September 2nd. So we'll all just wait on the edge of our seats for that one. A couple of long comb things, a perfume and a mascara, an Elemis facial wash, not in need of a face wash right now. And 50% off select women-founded brands. Let's take a look at that. Teeny Blends, no thank you. They're one of those brands that sells weight loss teas. I have no interest in any of that. Let's see, it looks like we've also got Indie Lee, Grande Cosmetics. Um, if I were to try anything from Grande Cosmetics, I would be interested in trying like their Lash and Brow Serum because I, I feel like I could use some help in, the, in that category, but I don't need a new lip mask. I'm using one from Lawless right now that I like, so I'm good there. Another face cream and a waterproof mascara. Also, once again, not really looking for a new mascara, so we can not worry about that. Then Saturday, September 3rd, KVD Surprise Beauty Steel. Definitely interested to see what that ends up being. I would be open to trying some things from KVD. I know I've heard some really good things about a lot of their new products, um, especially like their eyeliners I'd be interested in, like their potted eyeliners. But we'll see what that ends up being. An eye cream, Benefit brow pencil, and a Glam Glow mask. See, lucky for me, <laughs> most of these things are just not things I would be buying anyway. Then Sunday, September 4th, NARS Lip Balm, Bobbi Brown, Estee Lauder. Yeah, none of those are cruelty-free as far as I'm aware, so moving on. The new Beauty Blender Bio Pure Makeup Sponge. This is cool. This is supposedly a biodegradable makeup sponge, so you can compost it according to them. Benefits. Contains less than 1% synthetic fragrance. Okay. Did anyone ask? Why would there be fragrance in a sponge anyway? 
Anyway, it's funny, you know, they say it's made of 60% plant-based, bio-pure material, but I'm not sure what that means. It doesn't actually say that it's biodegradable anywhere that I can see, which makes me wonder if it actually is biodegradable. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying? If it is biodegradable, um, that is cool that it's on sale for half off. I mean, $10 for a beauty blender sponge is a good deal because they are normally $20. But I already love the EcoTools Bio Blender, and that one is under $10. Now, if the e if the beauty blender one lasts longer, that might be a better deal. Because I do know the EcoTools one, it does kind of start to tear more easily than other sponges. But that doesn't really bother me. I still use it even after it tears until it just gets, like, too old to use. But... Anyway, that's there. I, I won't be buying it because I actually am still using my base blue snowflake sponges. So I have I had like a six pack of those that I got in PR like earlier this year, I think, and I'm still still using them. So not in need of a new sponge right now. And when I am, I think I'll just probably go for the Eco Tools one again. Then we have the Stila Stale Day Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliners. I don't feel like I've heard anyone talk about or recommend these, so I'm not sure if they're any good, but I also have plenty of eyeliners already in pretty much all the colors I could want. Looks like just a lot of neutral colors here, and when it comes to neutral colors, I like to have like a black, a brown, maybe a gray or a taupe, and I think I kind of already have everything I need. That looks pretty. Abalone. That does look pretty. That looks kind of similar though to the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in rose gold, which I love. And I also haven't used this in a little while. So let's pull that into our little pile of things to use today. Yeah, has anyone tried the Stila waterproof eyeliners and are they good? I would be curious because $11, not a bad deal. That brings it to just a little bit more than the NYX Epic Wear Liner Sticks, which are very smudge proof and very, they, they lock into place. They are definitely one of the most waterproof eye pencils I've tried, so I think I would still probably go for the NYX. Also because this one just comes in way more fun colors too. Okay, my computer is wheezing. It is an older laptop, so it does that. If you can hear that, I'm sorry, but I am uh, screen recording right now, so I do apologize if you can hear that. And then we have a couple of other skincare products which I do not need. Looks like Tuesday, September 6th, they have the Urban Decay Primer Potion on sale. I actually just used one of these up. I thought it was good, but not anything impressive. $12.50 is a good deal, though, for something that does last a long time, but I once again, I just don't need an eyeshadow primer right now. I have my CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer, so I I just I try to only have one eyelid primer at a time. So no need to buy that. Um, SPF 23 Day Cream, no thanks. Seventy dollars for a day cream with only SPF 23? Jeez, it is now thirty five, which is still expensive, and you're not even getting an SPF of thirty. Paracone MD products. I do think, I think Paracone MD is cruelty free. I've never tried anything from them though. And then a Cosrx Lip Sleep. That does sound nice. I wonder if that's like a dupe for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask on sale for $9.50. Wednesday, September 7th, we do have the um, a 50% off the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation. I do love when foundations have SPF in them. Even if it's a lower SPF, it's still just nice to get a little bit of bonus protection is how I look at it, but I do not need a new foundation. My favorite SPF foundation, as you know, is the Ilia uh, Super Serum Skin Tint. That has an SPF of 40. It is a skin tint, but it actually does offer pretty medium coverage. And I actually just bought a backup of this because this one's almost gone. So won't be buying that Bare Minerals foundation. Also, I think Kelly Gooch didn't like this one and she's like a Bare Minerals expert. So I'm going to trust her opinion on that. Um, and then the Lancome, another, Lan wow, Lancome makes a lot of appearances in the 21 Days of Beauty. Then we have 50% off select Conscious Beauty clean ingredient products. Yeah, I don't think any of this really is appealing to me. A lot of skincare here, and then a Jane Iredale Mineral Foundation refill. I do love when powders offer refills. I, it's been a long time since I tried anything from Jane Iredale. Anybody have any Jane Iredale favorites? But it looks like it's just the refill, so that wouldn't do me much good <laughs> since I don't have any outer packaging for it. But yeah, so not really interested in that. Sorry, Jane. Okay, making our way downtown. 
Then we have Thursday, September 8th, Tartlet Tubing Mascara, $12 instead of $24. I, ha I haven't heard a whole lot about this, but I actually already have two mascaras currently open, and I do have a tubing mascara. I have the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes that I just recently bought, and I'm liking it. Not as much as the Milani Anti-Gravity, but let's use the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes today for a good tubing mascara. Patchology. Wow, I haven't heard the name Patchology in a long time. I feel like they used to be really popular and I haven't heard much about them in years, but I guess they're still around. Select Eye Patches, uh, Daily Foaming Exfoliating Wash from Kate Somerville, and 50% off Dermalogica. A lot of skincare this time around. Ooh, and then 50% off Mented Cosmetics Lip Liners and Lip Glosses. I haven't tried their lip gloss. I will hold off on that because I just, I already have plenty of lip glosses. Um, I have, frankly, too many. But nice to see it Mented in the sale. And I do have their lip liner in the shade Peach, which I love. And I actually feel like I haven't used this in a little while because I've just been using my Koki liner so much. So let's pull this one out and use it today. All right, and then... Friday, September 9th, another surprise steal from Morphe. Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters. Funny to see Morphe and Jaclyn Cosmetics on the same day. Interesting coincidence there. 50% um, off Tula Acne Clearing and Tone Correcting Gel. Don't need that. Yeah, pretty much the only thing I use for acne is my prescription tretinoin, and I love it. I don't have any need for any other acne products. Maybe the occasional pimple patch. But yeah, tretinoin has seriously like changed my skin. I love it so much. Um, 50% off Josie Marin Hydrating Treatment, let's see, Fresh Black Tea Corset Serum, Firming, that's a weird name for a serum, um, and then the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I know this is a very popular mascara. Once again, I, I just recently opened two new mascaras, so that is my limit, that's where I cap it, um, won't be trying that, but I know, um, a lot of people love this one. Saturday, September 10th. Another 50% off steal from Murad, which means it's probably a skincare product. 50% off It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation, matte and original, full coverage with SPF 50 plus. This actually is a little tempting to me, I won't lie. It's both of their full coverage Bye Bye Foundations the matte version and then just the regular version. I think if I were to try one of the It Cosmetics foundations, it would probably just be the not full coverage kind, because I don't really go for full coverage most of the time. So that's an easy skip for me. It has 50% off It Brushes for Ulta. I've heard great things about the It Brushes as well, but I already have plenty of brushes, so I, I don't think I need any of those. 50% off Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like most of us have kind of stopped wearing liquid lipsticks for the most part, especially with the pandemic. Like, now that the pandemic has changed our lip preferences, hasn't it? I mean, a lot of people have moved towards lip stains, sheer liquid lipsticks, tinted balms. That's definitely what I'm gravitating towards recently, so I really have no interest in the Stila liquid lipsticks. I struggle to use my existing liquid lipsticks anyway, so... I think that's an easy skip. And then 50% off nude sticks once again. Then we have some Sunday, September 11th, 50% off the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, a classic. I do already own that, so... I mean, this is regularly $33, so $16.50. If this is like your all-time favorite setting spray, now would be a good time to stock up on it if you know you go through it regularly, but otherwise, like if you already have this in your collection, I promise it'll go on sale again even before the next 21 days of beauty sale. Like around the holidays, I almost always see the all-nighter setting spray for a good deal or like a, you know, a bundle deal, things like that. So don't, don't buy backups. Don't buy backups unless you're almost done with it anyway and you know you're gonna repurchase it anyway. Okay, and then 50% off the Dip Brow from ABH. I already own that as well. Oh, so it's the duo of the pomade and the brow brush, which is actually the same exact, um, way that I bought mine. It came in a set with the brush and the pomade. Still have and use both. My pomade has been going strong for like three years now. So <laughs> definitely a great bang for your buck and if you can get it for half off even better but since I already have it obviously. Another long comb. 
50% uh, off the Persona Cream Bronzer. I still haven't tried anything from Persona, so um, that's an exciting product to see, but I already have like three cream bronzer sticks that I love, so just not really looking to buy any new ones. I, of course, have, well, these are more like contour sticks, the Oma one and the NYX Wonder Stick, which I just recently bought. And then I also just mentioned in a favorites video, the LYS Cream Bronzer Stick in Motivate. This is so good. I think I'm just going to use this today. Another cream bronzer that I already have and love is the Soul Body Bronzer. Bomb. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to use the Soul Body one today because I just haven't used it in a while and I kind of want to use it, especially before summer's over. I mean, I, I, I wear it year-round, but it's a very summery product. Like, it just smells beachy and wonderful. So let's use that today. September 12th, let's see, Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm Ultra Hydrating Lip Treatment. One of you guys recommended that I tried this product a long time ago. Um, definitely will keep it in mind for the future, but once again, I already have plenty of lip balms, lip balmy type products. I've got my Kapari ones, my... Um, I love the Kapari Lip Glossy. That's a fantastic kind of like on-the-go lip balm. And then the Lawless Overnight Lip Mask, I think it's called. That's what I'm using at night right now. So no need for that, but we'll definitely keep it in mind for the future. And then Peter Thomas Roth, 50% off cruelty-free products. Let's see what's here. Sunday Riley. Once again, lots of skincare. Bosha did recently become certified cruelty-free, so that's exciting. But I... Wow, a $37 cleansing oil. Um, I am just loving the Good Molecules cleansing balm right now, so that's what I'll continue to use. Sand and Sky, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm. that sounds interesting. The probiotic exfoliating powder for face and scalp. Not so much for face, but for scalp. I, I'm definitely intrigued, but not enough to buy it. <laughs> so we'll close out of that, yeah. Yeah, kind of underwhelming the sale this time around. Here's one that I was kind of interested in. Well, first of all, 50% off Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes and Bronzers. The Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes are pretty much always on my wish list. They just live on my wish list. Um, but for some reason, I still haven't bought one. So who knows? Maybe I never will. Um, but I also see these on sale around like Black Friday and around the holidays all the time. I remember last year, Sephora had like a big set of a bunch of minis for a good deal. So... These are always on sale. They're a very um, cult favorite product. They've been around for years, so they're not going anywhere. It's not like it's a limited edition product, so I'm in no rush to purchase that, and I've just been loving my existing blushes, but let's just see what we have here, what the shades are and what shades might appeal to me, and I'll see if I can find a close dupe in my collection. Blissful. Let's just look at this. Ooh, that's pretty. Bright peach, shimmery soft rose. I know Exposed is one of the most popular Tarte blushes. Just kind of a nice beigey nude color. I do love a beigey nude blush. Let's see. I feel like that might be kind of similar to my Essence the Blush in the shade Befitting, which tragically broke a few days ago, but it's still mostly intact. I feel like that is similar and something about these essence blushes kind of reminds me of the Tarte not so much the packaging but like the way that it looks in the pan it kind of reminds me of Tarte blushes so maybe that's what I'll use today I do love this blush and that's definitely the kind of color I've been super into recently risque is also pretty a lot of very similar colors a lot of just kind of like dusty light rosy colors so yeah, these are on sale for $14 to $15. I still feel like that's kind of a lot to spend on a blush because there are just so many great blushes for under $10 at the drugstore, like the Essence or like the Flower Beauty. I'm pretty sure it's around $10, but still cheaper than the Tarte for 50% off. So even though it looks like a good deal, I think I would rather just hold off. Smashbox Primer, I don't really use primers, so <laughs> no need to be tempted by that. Okay, here's another thing that I am definitely tempted by, the Beauty Bakery Face Flower Baking Powder. I don't really bake, but I'm sure this can be used for non-baking as well. Um, Beauty Bakery is a brand that I am very interested in trying. Looks like they have a like white translucent one. Looks like I would probably go for the shade Oat, 
This is one, oh man, I kind of do want this, but once again, I would prefer to finish my e.l.f. Halo Glow translucent loose powder first before I buy a new one. So, and I also, I already love this e.l.f. Halo Glow so much that I don't really feel like I need to try anything new. So that's kind of the theme of this video is like, all, the, all these things that are kind of tempting to me, do I have something in my collection that kind of fills that same role for me? And if so, you know, I'm kind of just trying not to, to buy anything new unless it's something that really is going to add something new to my collection. So this is going to stay, in fact, let me go ahead and put this like on my wish list or my loves list, whatever you call it. Just click that little heart there for another time. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy that this time unless I change my mind before September 13th. Is this an online only thing? So this does look like an in-store one. So who knows, maybe maybe the day of I'll decide to buy it, but probably not. I have a feeling I'm not gonna think about it after this moment, cause like, I just don't really go around thinking about and longing for a new face powder. Like, they all kind of do the same thing. <laughs> a stainless steel facial roller, I don't use those, and a Lorac Pro Palette Artist Edition. I kind of also forgot that Lorac existed, but um, definitely, well, I don't think Lorac is cruelty-free either, and looks like a nice, like, brown neutral palette for deeper skin tones, but um, I definitely wouldn't use those colors. Wednesday, September 14th, we're getting towards the end here. Um, some Estee Lauder and MAC. St. Tropez self-tanning. We are nearing the end of summer, so my motivation to self-tan is exponentially dropping by the day, so that I do not need. <laughs> and let's see, then we have the Kapari Ultra Restore Body Butter. I have had this in the past. I've received it in PR in the past, used it up, loved it. It is, it is a great body butter, like amazing. Definitely not good enough to spend $32 on it. Part of me is kind of tempted because $16 is a really good deal for this. Now, the only thing is, it only comes in one scent, and I really like to kind of, like, switch up my body lotion scents, like, with the season or whatever, and the fact, it only comes in one sort of, like, it's kind of like a beachy coconutty scent, which I do enjoy, but it's not really the kind of scent that I want to wear in the winter, so that's a good reason for me not to buy this right now, but it is nice to see it in the sale. Then we have some Claire's Skincare and Live Tinted. What is Live Tinted? Have I been living under a rock? Okay, so it's kind of like a shimmery moisturizer that comes in two shades. Um, I feel like I wouldn't know how to use that, so. <laughs> All right, and then last few days here, Thursday, September 15th, more a cosmetics, a PMD microdermabrasion, any kind of facial gadgets and tools like for skincare, I, I just, I don't have the patience. Um, Derma Blend Loose Powders, Buxom Powerful Plump Lip Balm and Scrub. I feel like I haven't even heard of these. Wonder if those are any good. Um, I definitely I don't really use lip scrubs, and this is a plumping lip balm. Okay, so it's looks like kind of a tinted plumping balm. Definitely interesting. I wonder if that's similar to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumping Balms kind of looks like a chubbier stick than what I would want. It's kind of hard to tell how chubby it is, but it looks kind of like too big to get a precise application. So I don't think I'm really that into that idea. And then 50% off clear solutions, select products. Ooh, I see a kinship item in here. Kinship self-reflect sunscreen. I do love this sunscreen. This was actually my winner in 2021 in my sunscreen roundup, and they do have a value size as well. So is this, okay, so it looks like that will be 50% off. Good time to try that sunscreen if you've been wanting to try it. I do really like this sunscreen, but it's no longer like my top, top favorite. I just, I have some others that I do like better. I'll, I'll link my 2022 sunscreen roundup down below where I found some real winners, but Kinship, Self-reflect, I like it, but I don't think I like it enough to pick it up in the sale. Also, I'm always trying to try new sunscreens for future sunscreen roundups, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to buy one that I've already tried and used up unless it's like a holy, holy grail. Some, 
let's see, and then some zit sticker items. So yeah, a lot of skincare here, not really in need of any of that. Then we have Friday, September 16th, a Benefit Surprise Steel, more Clinique, more Lancome, more Clinique. Okay, definitely can skip those. And finally, we have the last day of the sale, September 17th, a YSL Surprise Steel, Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lip Kits, once again, matte, matte liquid lipsticks, not really on the market for any of those kinds of things. Too Faced Hangover Primers, Peach and Lily Skin Care, and some REM Beauty eyeliners. Seems like REM Beauty has not been getting the best reviews <laughs> as a whole. And, I don't know, celebrity makeup brands for the most part don't really appeal to me. And, like I said, not really in the market for any eyeliners. So that's everything that's in the sale. I know this doesn't include the first day of the sale, which was on Sunday. I totally missed that. I mean, I think there was like a Tarte foundation that was on sale that day that I might have been interested in, but I decided to just forget about it. Um, but yeah, not not the worst sale ever. I mean, there's definitely some things in here that are intriguing and some things that I might be tempted by, especially like the Beauty Bakery and the Oma Beauty setting powders, just because those are two brands I want to try more from anyway. And I mean, honestly, the Tarte blushes, like I kind of do want one of those, but... I know I don't need one. All right, so now that we've window shopped, that was fun. It was fun to see what was in the sale. But let's go ahead and use some of those products that I pulled out as alternatives to these items, things that I already have that I feel like are pretty similar to the things that I would want to buy in the sale. All right, I got you guys zoomed in all nice and close. I'm actually filming this on my vlog camera today. I kind of just wanted to try it and see if I liked it better than my other camera. I kind of do. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you think of this camera quality. So let's go ahead and start out with the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Foundation. I actually haven't used this in a while. It's always a good way to shift your focus to using what you already have if you're tempted by, uh, if you're tempted to buy a new product is pull out something that you haven't used in a while that's similar. Especially if you haven't used it in a while, it's more likely to kind of feel new to you again. Like this product feel like I, since I've been using my Ilia Skin Tint so much this summer, I just haven't been using this as much, but I love this product and I'm excited to use it again. <laughs> so this is a great, definitely very luminous foundation. And I would say it has pretty, pretty good medium coverage. I don't think there was a concealer that really tempted me anyway, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my Project Pan Concealer, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo. Really enjoying this concealer. The key is really just one dot is all you need. So then going in with my Soul Body Bronzing Balm, I'm excited to use this too. I This is another product I haven't used in a little while just because I've been using other things and picked it up on my sponge this time. Normally I use a brush, but just felt like using a sponge today. Let's see how that works. It's just a great way to make your existing collection feel fun and new. Like reach into your collection and use those older products that have been collecting dust before you go out and buy a shiny new thing. Make sure you don't already have something in your collection that does the same thing or something very similar. And you know, I'm not even, I mean of course I'm not even saying that these products I'm using today are dupes for any of the items that I was looking at in the sale. It's really more about just why would I need to buy a new cream bronzer stick if I already have several cream bronzers in my collection that I love. Like, sure, maybe that Persona bronzer stick could offer something different from what I already have, but odds are probably not. I mean, a good cream bronzer is a cream bronzer, <laughs> you know? The real difference would be in like the undertones and definitely I'm getting a very bronzy look today, aren't I? Putting some on my chin apparently too. And then I'm just going to turn my sponge back over to the foundation side and kind of blend over that, make it look nice and blended. But yeah, this, I mean, I already love the Soul Body Bronzing Balm. I already love the LYS one. I'd rather just focus on using up the ones I have first. 
All right, so that is, I think that's all the cream products I'm gonna use today. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which I love so much. And this is another one where, like, sure, I probably would enjoy the Oma loose powder and the Beauty Bakery loose powders that I was looking at, but I can keep those in mind for next time. And in the meantime, use the loose powder that I already know and love. And I feel like, you know, if I were to buy another new loose powder, then I wouldn't be as excited to use this e.l.f. one that I love. So it would be kind of sad to just like throw this one, push this one aside for something new when I could just keep using it until it's gone. But this is just such a great like finely milled loose powder. And even though they call it the Halo Glow, it's not shimmery at all. Um, it just kind of has the most subtle like lit from within glow to it. But it's, it's just a really beautiful pressed powder. And I find that it also like not only does it do a good job setting my makeup, but it also helps my makeup just wear really well throughout the day. So big fan of this press or loose powder. So then I think the blush that I really want to use today is the Essence the Blush in Befitting. I just I love this blush so much and it reminds me a lot, just the look and the vibe of it. It reminds me so much of the Tarte ones for some reason. And I can't imagine that the Tarte ones are like that much better than the Essence ones because a powder blush is a powder blush most of the time. Like yes, there are some powder blushes that are better and worse than others, but really at the end of the day, they're all pretty similar. So let's use this guy. This is like a three or four dollar blush and I just love it so much. Then I'm going to use my Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. I find this very similar to the Becca formula. Similar just level of intensity. Same kind of like smoothness. There's not like a chunky shimmer to it. It's all just very smooth and glassy. This is, this is that kind of highlighter too. And I'm just going to mix these two colors together today. All right, so there, see there's that highlighter. Isn't that pretty? Oh. So next, getting into the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with my CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer. And you know what? Let's dust off my ABH Dip Brow Pomade because I haven't used this in a while. This I am going to use in really just the tail of my brows today, and then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lift and Snatch in the front. That's generally the kind of routine I like to go for. I like to kind of fill in the tail of my brows and then do the front with like with a brow marker. That way I can get like really natural hair-like strokes in the front. Ooh, I forgot how good of a color match that was in my brows. So good. And then going in with the NYX Lipton Snatch in the shade Blonde. So there really weren't any eyeshadow palettes in the sale that were tempting at all. I think there was only one palette in the whole sale, which was the Lorac one. Last year, remember last year when the ABH Marvina palette was half off? I think it was in the fall 21 Days of Beauty sale last year. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this because this is my Pan That palette this year. And I feel like I haven't done a look with this in a video in a while. I'm going to go in with the shade Love because this is kind of my focus shade. It's one of the next shades I want to hit pan on. So I'm going to pick some of that up on, actually before I do that, I'm going to take some of base, the matte cream color, and use that to set my eyeshadow primer from the crease up. And then I'm going to buff Love in the crease. I think I want to do kind of a smoky liner with the shade Volatile, this like taupey gray. I'm going to do that before I apply my shimmer. That way it kind of ends up getting sort of blurred and like blended a little bit with the shimmer on top. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just picking that up with an angled liner brush. This is the BK208. I'm going to go ahead and kind of draw a wing here.
and I'm kind of stopping it in the center of my eye, like right about where my pupil is. That's where I like to stop with eyeliner on the top. All right, and then for my shimmer, I'm gonna use the shade Dazzling. This is one of my favorite shimmers. So I am just going to tap this all over the lid. And slow and steady is the name of the game with building these shimmers. You don't wanna to apply too much or you will get fallout. You really just need a small tap. And I am kind of letting that overlap with that smoky liner because I want that liner to just kind of fade away and just blend in with the eyeshadow. Then taking my crease brush again and blending that out. And then I'm gonna take some of Dreamer, this light pearly pink, and that's gonna be my inner corner highlight. And I am gonna pull that up into my like inner third of my crease as well. So before I go in with any eyeliner or mascara, I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow setting spray. This is in my project pan, and this is just my go-to setting spray. It's luminous, but not over the top. It just makes my entire makeup look look so much better every time I use it, so. And it smells so good. I am gonna use a little bit of my Pacifica brow gel. Then I do wanna use this NYX Epic Wear liner stick that looked like it might be similar to one of those Stila liner sticks that I was eyeing. This is in the shade Rose Gold. This makes a great lower waterline liner, but I'm actually gonna just smudge this all across my lower lash line today. As you can see, it is definitely kind of like a metallic color. It like softly defines my lash line. Okay, well I am just loving this smoky, rosy, taupe eye look. I just think it's so fun, great for year round, great like, summer to fall transition kind of look. So next I'm gonna use that Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes Mascara. I'm still testing this out, but so far I don't hate it. And it definitely doesn't smudge too badly. I noticed like a tiny bit of flaking with it one night. So, that's two coats on just the top lashes. I decided not to put any on my bottom lashes because I'm kind of just liking letting that NYX liner show through and I don't want to cover it up. Yeah, it looks nice though. It's definitely very lengthening, but I do feel like the Milani one just gives me a little more drama, which is my preference. All right, for the lips, I know I had pulled out my um, minted peach lip pencil. I'm actually not sure if this is going to go with the eye look. Let me see. Let's Let's try it on. How is that? Is that too peachy with this eye look? Maybe I'll pair it with a slightly more rosy lipstick. I think that peach color works. I'm going to just apply some of like a more pinky gloss on top. This is a Nude by Nature lip gloss in the shade T Rose. Just a kind of standard nude pink. All right, well, I love every part of this look, which I think further proves my point that I don't need any new makeup to get so many different looks. I have so much makeup already in my collection that I could create endless different combinations of products and colors and techniques. So I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna sit out this 21 Days of Beauty sale. We'll see if I stay strong, but let me know. Are you planning on picking up anything in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, or are you also trying to shop your stash instead? I'd love to hear in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My channel is all about encouraging you to use what you have over buying new things. Of course, I enjoy trying out new products sometimes as well, but for the most part, I try to just shop my stash and use what I have first. So if that sounds like fun, I'd love to have you subscribe. Also, if you're already subscribed and you want to find another way to support me, I do have a Patreon where I upload a bonus video each month. This past month we did a live chat, but patrons vote on what they want to see each month. So I would love to see you over there as well. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye!